welcome to Waggers' Wings episode 6. In this episode we're going to look at some wingman techniques, in this case the drag and bag technique. To do this video I have recruited the, my good friend Jay, who goes under the tag name Air Biscuit, which for those of you from the Emerald Isle is a uh, Irish slang for farting. Great name there. Uh, the first example we're going to show uh, two SPAD 13s taking on a DR1. The essence of the Dragon Bag is that you use an aircraft with a higher speed. Uh, one of you picks up the bandit and gets them to pursue you whilst they are distracted with hopefully some tunnel vision shooting at one of your one of the pair of aircraft, one of the aircraft. The other wingman uh, gets on their tail and takes advantage of that situation. So this first example here, this is in my cockpit. I have spotted a DR1 chasing after Air Biscuit. So he hasn't seen me coming up behind him and he's fixated at taking the Air Biscuit. So I have a very, very nice uh, array of shots there lined up straight into his cockpit, uh, take off one of his wings and oil up his engine. So he was fixated with shooting at Air Biscuit there. So let's see the external view for the bandit. So you see Air Biscuit uh, picks up the DR1. The DR1 uh, noses up to try and get some uh, prop shots at him and then pursues him. The great thing about the dragon bag technique is if you can get them to take the bait, often the bandit will be trying to line up their shot. So they will fly very, very straight. So of course, the DR1 is usually quite a, a feisty opponent uh, for us boomer zoomers to take on and uh, quite a hard opponent but because he's fixated on the target he's not maneuvering away so there we go um, i've taken out uh, one of his 400 wings uh, and hit his engine so he comes in and crashes now you saw that that i used a boom and zoom onto the tail of the bandit because he did pull up and try and get shots off at me after i zoomed in and shot at him so the second example this is a great one here where we have a double uh, a dra dragon bag so I here am the dragger, so I picked up an Albatross D5 that's following me. Uh, he hasn't spotted the Air Biscuit above him. So we look around there, you see I'm going into a slight turn. Um, a dragon bagging, you can also uh, drag them round in a circle. It doesn't necessarily have to be in a straight line, um, but it sets up a nice, uh, easy target. So you see uh, Air Biscuit dives on the bandits um, now, takes some shots and kills the pilot of the first Albatross. Now another Albatross has spotted this and has decided to take on Air Biscuit and has decided to ignore me. So now I become the bagger and Air Biscuit is the dragger. So you see here I turn in, I spot him and I get off quite a nice few shots there into his cockpit and into his wing. And he breaks off and dives into the fur ball developing underneath. So let's see that in the external view. Uh, for both the bandits. So here is the first bandit that is going after me. I'm above him, so, I'm c so in this case I'm using my altitude advantage so he has to nose up to shoot at me. Whilst he's nosing up, it means that he's going to be slower, uh, which makes him again an easier target. So he's nosing up, he's trying to line up those shots on me, and Air Biscuit takes the advantage and dives on him. And again, because we're able to line up these shots quite easily, Air Biscuit gets a lot of shots into the cockpit and is able to actually kill the pilot. Again, in both of these examples, Air Biscuit and um, I are both have equipped um, balloon guns to both the aircraft. Luckily, the Newport 28 and the SPAD 13 can equip balloon guns, which, as I said before, are very good at shredding wings um, and just generally do a lot more damage than the typical um, normal standard issue machine guns. So here's the second bandit that's now picked up on Air Biscuits and I come behind him and I get in a few shots and force him to break off um, and dive. So let's have a look uh, from Jay, uh, Jay's uh, cockpit. So he's, he, he's dived in on the bandit, he gets uh, a nice long line of uh, balloon gun shots into the cockpit and kills the pilot. Um, soon after the uh, bandit goes down, he realises that he's picked up a bandit himself and rather than trying to turn, again, this is, uh, these are the techniques that are very, very good to use with fast, poor turning aircraft. So the Newport 28 is not a good turner, but it's, it's quite nippy and it's not too bad in a dive and it can take quite a good punishment. I hope you found this a useful video. This is a great technique to employ with another experienced, decent boom and zoomer. And it's quite a good way to get kills against less experienced pilots. We did have some trouble earlier on trying to make this video with uh, some more experienced pilots on the server, the Baron von Slarsen, who uh, knew exactly what we were doing. In fact, I foolishly posted in a forum beforehand to announce it. I hope you all found that useful. Thanks everybody for watching. I'm gonna put up some more videos later this week. And thank you so much to Jay for being a good sport and being my wingman. Salute everybody, see you in the skies.